Hey folks, Chris Urso here of National Reese. I uh, want to give you a couple more pointers on when you're trying to figure out what market to invest in. One of the first things, uh, the steps we take our students through is really more of a top-down approach for our beginner investors and we get them to focus on two or three markets, learn everything there is to know about the market, build out relationships and then go to additional markets. A lot of new investors, we see them come in very scattered. They're looking at deals from east coast to west coast, down south, up north, and they never really understand the markets that they're looking at. They focus on just deals first, and then, but they've never gone through and opened up a market. So we always take our, our students through the process of looking for the key indicators in those markets, and you don't have to find the best market out there. What you want to do is look at major key indicators basically start with jobs you know is, is that area adding jobs or losing jobs what's the unemployment rate is it going down or going up in relation to the national average as they get attacked for, from some bugs here it's a ladybug that's good luck so uh, jobs is number one uh, population growth is number two you know and then the local apartment market what type of supply is online um, what type of inventory is available so that's a big thing that we we get our students to look at right away you have to gauge inventory and deal flow. So you can find the best market in the world, but if there's only two buildings for sale within that entire city, chances are you getting a deal done there is very slim because there's gonna be a ton of competition and not a lot of inventory or volume to work in. So that's some of the big benefits when we're looking at larger markets is that, hey, there's a lot of volume in this market, there's a lot of activity, a lot of deals buying and selling going on. So the chance of me getting a deal done faster is higher, obviously, than that market has, that has such constrained inventory. So I'm going to encourage you to go to our website. We put together an awesome new free market analysis guidebook, and it's going to take you through the process of identifying markets, what to look for from A to Z. You can get that on our website, www.nationalreis.com. Watch out for those ladybugs.